Hey y'all, it's me, I'm back, it's Angela. Um, I thought I would just check in with y'all and give you an update on physical therapy. So I went back to physical therapy today. Um, I went two weeks ago, but it wasn't real physical therapy. It was like my assessment where they check like your range of motion and like what can you actually do versus like whatever. Um, and so we went today and she added new things for me to do, new exercises. She's really good about paying attention to how much I hurt. And she always says, if it hurts, stop. And so I would do a couple and I'm like, okay, it hurts. And I stop. And we didn't do very much, but because she added four new exercises, my body hurts right now. Um, and so she also, because I had talked to her about my upper back. I don't know if you guys remember <clears throat> in my last video. Sorry, my sweater is choking me. Um, I had talked about my discs between L4 and L5 and L5 and S1 are the discs that are degenerative, but I've been having mid back pain. And I told my doctor that I was having this new pain. I've had it for months now. There's been no real like explanation of why I'm not doing anything. I'm not supposed to, because I know my back is messed up. So I'm not like lifting anything crazy. So this new pain was like, well, what is happening? And when they recently just did that MRI, they didn't MRI that spot in my back. I don't know why, um, because that's where the new pain was. They did my lower spine and they did my neck. So my, my C-spine, C-spine, um, and they did a CT also of my neck, but, um, they didn't find anything new or exciting. It was just like, yeah, it's degenerative. It looks like, you know, it's not, not great, but it's not terrible. You're like, Bleh, whatever that means. Um, <laughs> hang on. Mm -hmm. I had to drink some of my tea. My whipped cream's melting. It's like, drink me. And Look how cute this mug is. <laughs> Sometimes I just gotta stop and enjoy the little things. Um, so anyway, when she was checking me today, and I told her, you know, my, my back hurts here and we really haven't addressed it with my primary care doctor a whole lot. She said, okay, so she tested it. And yay me, T9 and T10 are also having issues. So she had me rotate my back at my back, like right in the middle. And when I rotated and she pushed, it hurt. Oh, you guys, like, oh my God. Yeah, so I was like, okay, that's fun. So she added some exercises to help, again, stabilize my core, because that's what I need to work on because my hips are not super stable right now and I can't add any leg exercises or hip exercises or things that would help strengthen that. So it's just, let's get the core working, let's get that strong, and it's gonna be a slow process, you guys. Um, I don't know how many of you have gone to physical therapy. I've done physical therapy a lot over the years. It always helps. The hardest part is sticking with it. You need to stick with it, just like I do. Um, it's hard to do when you're not going to the appointments to keep doing the exercises. My phone has a little reminder every morning that dings, it's like, do your stretches. And then 10 minutes later, it does it again, do your stretches. So that's helped some for me to be like, oh yeah. And then I get distracted. Oh yeah, it dings again. I'm like, do it. So yeah, that's the main thing is just doing doing them. Um, like I said, she's really good. My, ther my physical therapist is really good about knowing, hey, if this is too much, do less. So I got a new band today. I usually use the yellow, which is not as strong. I got a red one today to do some like shoulder stretches and stuff. And she said, if it's too strong, give some extra length or go use the yellow one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously today I'm crushed because we did a lot and we didn't, uh, we didn't do that much, but for my body, it was a lot. It was like, okay, please stop. Um, so tomorrow we'll do them, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see how it's going. Um, have you guys done physical therapy before? How did it go? How was that for you? It doesn't sound, it doesn't work for everybody, but I have a great physical therapist who, like I said, is really good about knowing what I can do, what works, what doesn't work, how to give me exercises in an alternative way, right? Like one of the ones she showed me today is normally done laying down, but I can do it standing up because I can't lie down flat on my back because it gives me vertigo, woo! Um, so that's where I'm at. Going back to physical therapy, hoping it'll help, hoping T9, T10 calms down. Ooh, because it's super fun having pain in your lower back, on your hip, in your mid back, and a headache, woo! Yeah, living with chronic pain. Um, hashtag make it visible. Um, invisible illnesses need to be talked about more. This needs to be normal. People need to understand that there are millions of people who live with conditions that are debilitating, that are hard to manage, that are making our lives difficult. 
Um, but we just get through it every day by just taking day by day. Um, I'll be back later to talk about spoonies. What does that mean? What does the, like, how does it, what, how does that work? You guys heard that term before? Spoonie? Um, my spoonie sisters, where you at? Um, so I'm gonna talk about that later in another video. And I will also talk about how I discovered that the pain the doctors thought I had was not what they thought it was when it came to Crohn's. So tune in next time and I will talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Bye.